Patriots, baby. And he's on the dog. Yo! And he's on the dog. It is real. Yo! What up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy. Happy Hump Day! Hump Day! Alright, so we're going to get into this, the uh, universal law, the law of correspondence. Alright, so if you are t just tuning in and haven't caught the other shows, I advise you to catch my other shows. But this one, The Law of Correspondence, I'm reading this book right here. And so basically what I'm gonna do is just read a little passage out of it, break it down, get an engagement started, and then on Friday I'll be answering some of your questions or putting some of your comments on blast. So you dig what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and go right into the book here. So The Law of Correspondence, also known as The Law of Equivalence, this universal law states that the principles of physics that explain the physical world of energy, light, vibration, and motion have their corresponding principles in the universe. As above, so below. As within, so without. Or whatever is above is like, which is, okay, let me make sure I get this right. Whatever is above is like that which is below, and whatever is below is like that which is above. Our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. It is the foundation of almost all self-help courses that teach us to change from the inside out. And that does make sense. If your life is filled with unhappiness, depression, chaos, or just lack in satisfaction, it's because it's reflecting what's inside you. If we clench negative thoughts and beliefs internally, then our outer world becomes one of turmoil and discord. Now let me just sidebar that real quick I know everybody knows someone if you're not that person who has a dark cloud over them all the time just steeped in negativity you talk to them you almost don't want to talk to them because you know that they're just gonna change your mood into something else right that's what this is explaining let's get back to it the law of correspondence shows us the dangers of grasping onto negative thoughts it proves that any negative circumstances or situations in our lives are essentially self-inflicted, meaning that's your fault. You're the one doing it. There is a direct correspondence between the way you think and feel internally and the way you experience your outer world. So in order to change our outer world, circumstances, and situations, you must first take a look in the mirror and begin to change inside. No matter how hard we try, we cannot change our outer world if we don't change our inner world first. True believer in that. The law of correspondence says the only way to get what we truly want in life is to change our thoughts. Uh, let's see. I didn't highlight this part, but let me go ahead and say this. This can be a difficult task for some. It is much easier to blame others or to blame circumstances for our misfortunes. It is also much kinder on our egos to blame someone else than to take responsibility. I know you can all relate to that. To escape turmoil, stop trying to change the world around you from the outside. To change your outer world, you have to make a paradigm shift. You have to change your patterns of negative feelings and beliefs because they have a direct impact on your attitude and ultimately your outer world. If you guys don't get that, then you have a, you're just not I was going to say you have a problem, but it's not that you don't have a problem. You're just not paying attention. Because if you are not this or have not experienced this before, you know someone who is going through this or is experiencing this now. I'm sure of it. So I'm hoping that this, this one really, really sinks in. I hope this really sinks in. Last thing. If you want positive changes in your life, look internally. Look in the mirror and the person you are inside. 
By changing the quality of your thoughts, you will change the quality of your life. It isn't a mystery. It's an indisputable law that most people aren't even aware of. And as I was reading that passage, I was thinking of Michael Jackson's song, Man in the Mirror. I'm looking at the man in the mirror, I'm asking him to change his ways. I believe that's the lyric. But that's what this law is all about. That's what this, is, this law is all about. And it's one of the biggest laws that I study. The one of the biggest ones that I, that I practice. I will go so far as this. Usually you have those jobs. If you have a job, you go to work, especially if it's an early job. But in all actuality, it doesn't matter what your shift is now that I think about it. But if you have a morning job, especially if it's earlier, earlier than nine, you have those people that come in and they're dragging around. You know, they still need their coffee. They still need to wake up. Whatever the case is. And then if it's not those group of people, there's a different group of people that once you say, hey, how you doing? Oh, my back hurts. My leg hurts. My husband's cheating on me. My girlfriend is on this. And my... At the beginning of the day, how do you do that? I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. And I've had past relationships with people and that uh, I've had past relationships and those people couldn't understand how I could go to bed late at night, get up early in the morning and still be ready to b just be have positive thoughts. It's like this for me. Okay. We are machines. We may not be made of scrap metal and all that other stuff, but we are machines. Our body works as a system. Okay that is headed off by the brain, which these things are really pointing out, okay? So, when you start your day off, looking at the news, and the first 15, 30 minutes of it is just, this cop killed this person, this race killed this person, this place was robbed, this place was shot. Your mind starts to go down that path because that's what you're opening yourself up to. And to me, you carry that shit on because you can't wait to tell other people about it or somebody else will talk about one of those things on the news and then you get into a deep conversation about them. And the thing is, not that you can't care about people and you can't be a humanitarian and you can't be human, but if it has nothing to do with me, you cannot bring me down. I am not with that. I don't care who you are. You are not allowed to start my day, excuse my French, excuse my Portuguese, fucked up. You can't, you can't because I will cut that conversation short and I will deal with you later. But if you get up in the morning, you eat a good breakfast, you work out a little bit, you don't have to do weight training and all that, but just get yourself physical, get yourself some of that sun on your face, breathe in some of that air take in things like what I do is I like to watch like Sanford and Son or some kind of comedy while I'm doing things like cooking breakfast and all that to get me to get a good laugh and all that going on which they say laughter is a good medicine I truly believe in that and for those of you who know me you know I love to laugh so with me I try to start my no I start my day off correctly and I don't let a cloud or any judgment or anything like that. Even if it passes by me, it just passes by me. Hey, huh? oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. And then I move on with my day. You're not allowed to mess up my day. Especially not at the beginning of the day. So that's what this is about. You know what I mean? I find that when you're friendly with people and you have positive outlook, I don't care if you're at a job that you don't like. I get that you don't like it but you're there for a reason. Otherwise, quit. Find something else to do, especially in a time now where jobs are just plentiful. Find something else to do. If somebody's gonna mess with you in the early, don't even answer the phone, don't check the email, just look, look. I'm telling you, after you do that after a while, people will start to understand that this ain't the person I need to dump all this stuff on. They don't wanna hear it, they don't care, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, you as that person start to feel better. You know what I mean? And then when you have all that positive energy around you and you're looking and talking with people who are about something as far as positivity, they don't have to be about something. You can meet a bum on the street and talk to them and they can make your day. 
So as long as you're out there and you're active and you're being, you know, you're, you're being a part of the earth, you should have a positive outlook on things. Everyone has their highs and lows, don't get me wrong. But even then, you control that. Okay? That's all I'm saying with that. And that's why I'm saying what I'm saying today. Happy hump day to you, you suckers. Hump day. Later. In life, you have some people going around and disrespecting the elders. In life, you have some people going around disrespecting other people who step up in their life. All the people in front of you say you're not dead for hungry, but I'm see another year right now. Everybody, every man and woman. I hear you, man.